Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D and I'm here with a 911 emergency message for you guys. You know, without further ado, let me jump into it because I don't know what is this going to be about. I have no idea. Let's jump into it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Let's see what's going on. What's this 911 emergency message, Father God? What should we know here? What's happening, please? want to see it <laughs> ten of cups i'm liking this i'm liking this happiness success harmony total fulfillment total joy total peace the whole shebang the whole shebang because there's a reunion baby one 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 <laughs> okay let's continue let's see what else is going on here what else should we know here please mm -hmm. oh my gosh whomever this is who's masculine this is you're breaking free somebody's taking the leap of faith somebody's breaking free from insecurities obsession every single negative thing that has been buried down inside of them your person is ready for a new start your person is getting ready for a new start here it's like they're at the stage that you're fighting their demons, fighting the struggles, breaking free from karmic situations. They feel stuck on you. They feel like they feel like just they just want to be with you. Like nothing else matters. Nothing else matters but you. And no matter what it takes, nothing is gonna keep them back. Nothing is going to keep them bound to sadness and insecurities. They're breaking free. The Four of Swords. You and this person, you're on, you're on a break from each other. You're, I'm, I'm just getting new beginning, brand new beginning. Look. It's all over. Brand new beginning. That's all. I can't even talk. That's the only thing that's coming to me. Brand new beginning. During this separation between you and these divine masculines here, they are learning to take control of their dark sides. They're healing. They're accepting their truth. They're accepting their path. It's like the old them that has been dormant, buried deep inside. It's now risen. They have awakened. They have awakened. They were struggling, battling, confusion, 333. Three, three. Now they are one. Now they have control over their feelings, over exactly everything in their life. Closing out cycles. Closing out cycles. You may be seeing 10 tens, guys. But you're closing out cycles. Insecure no more. They can't wait for the second chance to be with you. They can't wait for the second chance. They can't wait to close this cycle. You've been running around for far too long and they can't wait to close this cycle out with you. Your person can see clearly. They are stronger. They have the power that they need. The power, the love that they are seeking, the unconditional love, they have it now. Now they're realizing that that power was already within them. So they're complete. They're complete. Ooh. That's why they're that energy. That's why they're in that energy. Divine feminines, you're rising up, you're standing tall, you're doing you, you're loving you. Things are growing, your emotions are under control. Your money is under control. Your insecurities are under control. You have control over your dark and your light side. You're balanced. You're balanced and you're ready to serve. You're ready for that emperor to come and sit beside you. You're ready for that brand new beginning. That's why they are ready too. 
I love it. 911, guys. This is important for somebody. Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Ready to give their love. What can you tell me about this Ten of Cups here, please? In regards to this 911 emergency message, what can you tell me about this Ten of Cups, please? What? Okay. After this period where there was sadness, where there was suffering, where there were third parties, it comes that brand new beginning. Sad no more. This person is recognizing their blessings now. Your person is recognizing their blessings. See, they weren't paying any attention over there. Just keep watching the rain falling. I can't go outside because it's raining. I am sad because it's raining. Things don't seem right in my life, so I am sad. I may be short on cash, that's why I'm sad. I feel like I've lost everything, that's why I'm sad. Guys, there's going to be a celebration, 0707. There's going to be a celebration, 5, 4, 3. Where's the 2? <laughs> I have the 1. <laughs> I have the 1. But trust me, guys, this is celebration here. This is completion. This is a brand new beginning somebody's been waiting for. Your divine masculines are packing their bags and they're moving away. I don't know where they're going. Don't ask me. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> I don't know where they're going, but they're going somewhere. But I, I kind of have an idea. <laughs> I kind of have an idea. They're headed closer to where the divine masculine is. That's my idea. What do you think? <laughs> what are you thinking? Tell me about this fool here, please. Ready to take that leap of faith because now they're feeling happy. Now they're feeling happy. They're wiser. They're wiser. Your divine masculines here, they were, they, were, they were cold before. Things were like on ice with you two. Things were frozen. Things were not moving. There's going to be communication coming in too. Something passionate is going to happen with you guys. Could be, a, could be a message. Could be that thing. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you'll know. Not my business. <laughs> Not my business, you'll know. <laughs> well, your divine maskings are waking up here. One, two, three. This person is in control. This person is in control of everything in their life. They are now telling people what to do. <laughs> they are now giving the orders. They are in control. Tell me about this devil, please. And what they're stuck on here. Okay, it's done, it's over, I told you. Whatever it is that they were stuck on, 919, couldn't make a decision, that situation is over. They're over and done with that. They, they are balanced now. They, they have union within. They have union within. No, all they can see is happiness because they are free. They are free. Thank you, God, for that. They are free. They're looking up. Oh, Jesus. Look at this man. I tell you, I can't stand these biouches. They always show up in, in the message. Well, their energy is there, so 959. So there's nothing we can do. We just don't have to. We, we, we just should not focus on them. But this divine masculine here is healing from this situation. That's for some of you guys whose persons were in third party situation, romantic third party situations. These persons made your divine masculines feel out of control, feel like they had no self esteem issues, low self esteem issues. Your divine masculine was codependent on this person. But it's like it wasn't for anything good, it was like for. 
for them to just feel love like they were begging for love like oh my god please love me please say you love me it's like they wanted love so badly just as how we were looking for love and we are looking for love but they were looking for love in all the wrong places guys oh that's a catchy title i may use that <laughs> they were looking for love in all the wrong places and when they finally found it they couldn't recognize it because they had no idea that that was what love is true love anyways now they're making wishes now they're making wishes now they're planning on moving forward soon your divine masculines are dreaming about you lying in bed thinking about you thinking about your next step and your next step is to move closer to you some of you guys will be moving close to the water Tell me about this nine of wands, please. Yeah. There's a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions coming forward. See, do I sit with the water? Emotions are coming to the surface. Things are changing. Out with the negative thoughts. Out with the negative thoughts. I don't know why I repeated that. <laughs> Your divine masculines are focusing on their self-growth. Amen. They're focusing on their self-growth. They're focusing on you, their empress. That's where their focus is. No more negative thoughts. No more negative talk either. Time for abundance, guys. Your divine maskings have made decisions. Your divine maskings have walked away from a certain situation. That third party situation they were in, they have walked away from it. That negative thought, that ne negative talk, they have, they have, oh. totally done, totally over. Totally done, totally over. They've turned their backs. Now it's time for abundance, a change, a rebirth. Brand new. Brand new way. Nothing can hold me back now. Brand new. It's so nice when you can clearly see what's good for you and you can acknowledge that that thing is good for you. Then you'll know which direction you're supposed to go. And that's what's happening with these divine masculines. That's what's happening with these divine masculines. Let's see what you can tell me about their energy here. Oh, Jesus. Another eight. Look at this, man. All the negativity that was holding them down. Indecision. Instability. All that is changing. All that is changing. Whoop, whoop. All that is changing. For some of you guys, they're getting divorces, separations. But there will be a victory because they are coming in to heal the situation between you and them. They're coming to heal the situation. A new door has been open for you and your divine masculine. A new door has been open. Let me put this here. For some of you guys, you may be feeling this shift. You may be feeling this shift. Something new is happening. Some, a big change is happening. A big change. Your divine masculines are aligning. Yes, man. Yes. Two, two, one, one, two, two. Happiness and one, two, guys. Twenty-one, twelve. Look up that number. Twenty-one, twelve. In regards to twin flames your divine maskings are on a new path they're on a new path they're ready for this journey and they can't stop thinking about you they know where they're going your divine maskings are learning they're embracing this new path they're embracing this new future with you all the possibilities that they can think of now they are possible 
before they were impossible because they were trapped in in self in self doubt in, in in negative thought in third party situations in romantic party yes that thing Jesus I can't even speak so it's like nothing was gonna work out beating themselves out couldn't decide I don't have enough money so they started to put in the work and now everything is possible it seems possible for you and them right now it seems possible where things didn't look like it was going to work out, like, no, 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 it's not going to work, it's not going to work, I'm not good enough. Oh, now they're the emperors. Now they are the emperors. Come on out, card. Let's see what was happening in the background here in regards to this 911 message. What can tell me that's happening in the background here, please? They're learning from you. They're learning from you. Some of your divine masculines here, they're working on their wounds. Their wounds are being reflected to them. Your divine masculines are realizing, those who were in romantic third-party situations, they are realizing that they were giving too much. They've transformed. Now they're making healthy choices. They realize that they were making the wrong choice in love before because what they were sticking to, what they were hanging on to, was what they should have let go of from a long time ago. But because they were learning their wounds, what they were healing their wounds, they couldn't move, they couldn't go anywhere. They're reminiscing about you, they're reminiscing about the times when you guys first met. And they're dedicated to closing this cycle, this separation cycle. There is something that you gave to your divine masculine that they are keeping and that they are holding on to and looking at it, thinking about you, reminiscing about you. Your divine masculines are also abundant. Now they feel abundant financially. Financially, yeah. See that? As Like I said, guys, your divine masculine needed the time to heal from these situations. They had to experience their wounds. They had to learn their lessons. That's why they couldn't be with you. They had codependent issues. They were obsessed. They, they were being controlled. And they had to learn to stand on their own two feet. That's what was happening in the background here. They had to learn to stand on their own two feet. They had to learn to find their self-worth. You couldn't tell somebody, hey, you're being abused. They're going to be like, what? What? Are you, what? Somebody's using you. Like, what? You think I'm stupid? You think I don't know when somebody's using me? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. It's going to take you some time to figure it out. So it doesn't matter how much you talk to them, how much you may tell them somebody's using them, somebody's abusing them, somebody's not good for them, they're making the wrong decision. You cannot tell people what to do, especially adults. You've got to let them figure it out on their own. On their own. On my own. Once again. <laughs> yes, they're on their own once again. And they're missing you like crazy. Man, these divine masculines want to be with you so bad. Prepare for that message, 202. Mm -mm, 222. You're stable now. The next step from this will be permanent. The next step from this will be permanent. They're ready for you. They're ready for the one. They're ready to open their heart to you. They've made their decisions. They've cut out the people that don't mean anything to them. The options, the, the decisions that they needed to make that made them indecisive. They couldn't decide what to do, where to go. They've cut out all of those things. Give me a message, please. Give me a message, please. Yep, cut out those people. They're no good. They are no good. They were just experiencing deception, they realized. See, and, and see, like I was telling you, you cannot tell them what's happening around them. 
they will not believe you they will not believe you and if you look you wouldn't believe anybody either you would want to find out for yourself You allowed your divine masculines by working on yourself to remain optimistic that true love still lives. And now they're experiencing peace. And the peace that you're feeling is allowing them to hear God's voice. It's allowing them to feel unconditional love. 22, 22. So they're following their intuition now and setting themselves free. Realizing that they're not a victim. But what they're going through are lessons that they should learn to let go off of. Things that they are seeing is what's hurting them. They're realizing that what's happening in their life is not for them to fight to keep. Thank you. But it's for them to fight to release. <laughs> new beginning. Brand new beginning, guys. Oh, yes, and welcome them babies. Welcome them babies. For all of you ladies out there and gentlemen out there, congratulations. Congratulations. Now let's get you some, okay. Reality. Let's see what's going on in reality. Worried. Somebody's worried. Somebody's worried because reality, is, reality has kicked in. Reality has kicked in. They're realizing they made mistakes. They are realizing they made mistakes. It's time for things to grow. Things are changing now in this season. In this season, Divine Feminine, don't rush it. You're going to spoil it. Do not dare interrupt. Just know what's going on and leave it there. Don't you dare try to mess this up. They're coming together. <laughs> They're coming together. Don't rush. The timing is not perfect yet. Don't rush. Okay? Don't rush. They're working on their insecurities. They're becoming stronger. They're becoming masculines, divine masculines, emperors, emperors, 414. Some of your divine masculines may be changing jobs or already have changed jobs. But focus on what's important, divine feminine, your self-growth. Continue doing that because if it wasn't for you, they will not be growing and changing. What's your message here, please, archangels? Clear sentience, Archangel Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. There you go. And passion, Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So them waking up and facing reality is realizing what true love is, what true passion and desire is. And you're holding on to that. Now they're following that sign back to you. Prioritize Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. There you go. They're standing back in their power. They're taking back their leadership power. They're becoming the Emperor, Divine Feminine. You will soon be in your position. Your Empress beside your Emperor. Like I said, some of your Divine Masculines may be changing careers or they already have. Or even you. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Whatever change is going on in regards to work, it's going to be something that's relating to your spiritual gifts, to your journey, and will make you abundant, both of you, 555. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you would like a reading, a keychain, or to purchase my book, go to twindflamed.square.site or to purchase my money magnet bracelet, my money lip oils, and my protection bracelets. Go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. Love you guys, and I'll see you later. Let go and let God.